Okay, well this video is going to be a little choppy, or low quality, sorry. My last video was choppy, I tried recording this earlier. It's actually tried recording this four times now, twice in the morning, and once now. And this is the fourth try. Um, it was kind of hectic. The first two tries kind of got fucked. Um, There's a lot of like background noises at the, at the time, and then it got late, people got home. And then now, um, I was trying to record with my back camera, but because I had low space, my shit started tweaking, and it was very choppy. But, welcome to the video. Um, this channel's gonna be a whole, like, different type of thing. I'm gonna be doing a whole lot more, just kind of like, me sitting down with the camera, doing shit. Um, or just kind of doing more passionate projects that I've been wanting to do for the longest of time. But I just haven't either, A, had the time, B, had the motivation, C, had the courage, and eh, yeah. But like I feel like now I should start start settling into what I want to do, and this is part of it. So I hope I hope that this channel is bigger than what it seems like. <laughs> um, I'm still gonna be doing music. I'm still gonna be doing gaming stuff. I I'm I'm working on or I have ideas um, for the gaming stuff that I'm kind of just like bouncing between right now where I'm not sure I'm gonna do I'm probably gonna try and record those and see how I like it see which one I like the most edit do everything bada bing bada boom uh music wise I'm working on a lot of other music uh I feel like I've been feeling a little blocked creatively which is why I kind of want to pick up the camera or my phone and record this just do something simple kind of bring me back a little bit to where I started which was recording in my room whether it's gameplay or just me talking to the camera that's how I started um in the first place um so it kind of feels full circle and it, it feels nice um <laughs> anyways this video I'm going to be re reviewing a product um and I hope that this type of video content is kind of uh accepted in a way um because I'm kind of following and what I want to do, so I'm just testing out different concepts on this one channel. Um, but today we're going to be reviewing Imperial uh, in Extractions. Can you? There, there you go. I mean, kind of. Kind of. It, you can see it at some point. Or somehow. Camera's a little iffy, because I have it set on manual focus, so it's kind of locked in. <laughs> Probably see it better from further. But, um... These, these pods, sorry, I forget the names, because usually I'm used to using the 510 threaded cartridges. Um, these pods have been one of my favorite things um, in a while. Usually I smoke flower or bud, uh, whatever you want, whatever your preference is to call it. Um, usually that's my preference. Uh, I like smoking out of bong. I love bongs. They're like my favorite things in the world. Um, sometimes I like a joint. I like a blunt. But bongs are just the way for me I, I, they're like they're like my first love i fell in love with a, with 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 them um when i first had that which maybe i'll do a story time on it i don't know yet i'm still deciding things <laughs> but these are very smooth and have decent flavor um this one's about halfway this is a sativa one i have it just sitting here because i again i tried recording this like so many times now this one that I have in here, almost out. It's so low. This one, um, it's watermelon sherbet. I'm pretty sure. This is the box. It's open. Yeah. Uh, I'll take a hit and then I'll give like a little bit more of a review. It's very light because I have it on the low setting. I'll put it to the second. It's very, it's very, it's very light when it comes to the watermelon sherbet. I've had these for a week now. I tried recording this video uh, Saturday when I got it last Saturday. Didn't work out. I was busy I was seeing a movie. Um, but we're here now. But these are very light in the flavor. Well, this one specifically is very light in flavor. It's not a very like strict punch to the face or anything. It's not like mouthful and it's like oh, that's like a very scented or like heavy flavoring it's very light it's it's not even harsh either 
sometimes some uh, cartridges are a little harder, especially because usually they're just distillate. And when I saw these being THCP by resin Delta 8, um, and then with added terpenes, it kind of was, it was a little, little iffy for me. <laughs> but when I tried it, it was smooth. I, it didn't irritate me as much as other carts would, and especially my nose. Um, usually you could... Inhale through the nose. Um, and if it irritates you, then it's more than likely distillate. It's not like a, a huge like uh, technique to do, because it, I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but unless you, you really are looking for certain types of of um of things whether it's distillate hash etc the, the list climbs i again there's a lot of things and a lot of things to talk about because this video is just not cut out for that's why it's just a quick review but i'm gonna switch these because again timing and shit This one is Tropical Punch, <laughs> Sativa. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of Sativas, but I just really wanted to try one because it had been a while. And honestly, I'm still not a big of a fan. I think I'm just gonna stick to Indicas and hybrids. Um, some hybrids I can do. I feel like Sativas just aren't for me. I, I like feeling mellow and kind of like, I could take a nap. But I feel like with Sativas, I get too much of a headache sometimes. I like I feel like I get too stimulated and I'm like I'm, I want to do so much shit but at the same time it's like because I'm stimulated I'm just gonna stay back but with Indica's I feel good I feel mellowed out I feel I feel regulated I feel like I'm ready to go more and I guess there's like a very difference between things because uh depending on like the types of uh strains and effects or I mean I think even terpenes have like a distinct um like point to how it makes you feel I, I think certain terpenes kind of give you different feelings and do different things like i i think like lavender terpenes would, would be a lot more like soothing and calming because those things exist like those are actually terpenes that exist within strains and, and actual like carts or other pods I'm, I'm pretty sure at least from what i would remember because I've, I've i watched so many things and i've looked up so many things i've done hours of research in my own time um outside of this like it's been cannabis has been like the second or not second i said like the third fourth thing on my on my like hobbies that like i enjoy um looking at i enjoy looking at the way that things are grown or the way things are made or how the businesses start because there's a lot of like community and culture that surrounds it and it's really cool and fun just to learn about it, it, it's something that gives i don't know it gives you a different look at things because it's like this was like hated Sometimes this is still hated. And these people, they made it work. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Um, I'm going to take another hit. I'll take a blinker on the lowest setting. <sighs> Again, Sativa. Not really my favorite. But it is what it is. Um... I lost my train of thought. That's fine. Um, that uh, community within the, the the cannabis industry is very it's very huge, and I kind of want to be a part of that. So that's kind of the reason why I'm like experimenting with this style of content because I kind of want to be a part of that mainly because it's just cool. It's just a cool space from it, from from the people that I've like followed and and like researched and things. It's like these are these, some of these people are just actually just. Just chill, because you're just human. <laughs> they're just enjoying life, enjoying what they smoke, and you know, again, gathering with community because it's just such a big thing. Um, yeah, this is this has been like just a short little thing where I just like wanted to talk about these pods a little bit. Um, I just wanted to just sit down in front of the camera. Um, I, I I'm a little stoned already because I've again I've tried this video like another time before this. So, <laughs> kind of been smoking a little heavy today because of this. Um, oh, shit. My lighting just went out. <laughs> See, just like constant like back and forth between technical difficulties. Um, it's back, of course.
But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Also, a, f a fun little thing that I just remembered. Um, when you, I'm pretty sure when you preheat this and it finishes preheating, it'll it'll have a haptic feedback and it'll vibrate. Same thing when you insert a cartridge. Um, it'll vibrate and glow for a quick second. Uh, when you take blinkers as well, when it hits its max capacity, that's the same. It'll blink and it'll give that same vibration. It's just a really neat feature. I like those little things. So it's kind of fun when like you're putting things in, feeling that vibration. And it, it's just more of a sensitivity thing and just like fidgeting. It's a really nice thing to fidget. And it's very, very uh, small and hidden. Kind of fits in your palm. Looks like a key fob. It's very portable. I love it. I'd give it a 9.4. 9.4. Just because I think the tape is a little bit harsh on the throat. Other than that, that's kind of the whole review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, sorry for the shitty quality. I'll do things better. I promise. Um, thank, you for, thank you for watching this video. Leave a like or something. I don't know. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Whatever that is.